Good afternoon, dadas all over Kenya and East Africa. Thank you for watching us. And it's never too late to say a happy new year. This month is the month of February, the month of love, when everything is red and pink and everybody's feeling lovey-dovey. So we want to talk about love. Actually, we want to say this love thing. What is it? How does it work? So we want to begin at the beginning. Today we want to talk about dating. You meet somebody, you have coffee, then you have lunch, then perhaps you go to their home. How do we date? What is dating about? What was the big idea around dating? So to kind of break this uh, down, I have two young people who are dating, have dated for two and a half years, yeah. hopefully are going to be in marriage. So please introduce yourselves. Hey, what's up, everybody? Good afternoon. My name is Dante. Um, yes, and I'm a pastor, but also a church planter, a mover, an entertainer, and he's in the Hadidizetu, so. Okay. So you are many things to many people. Yes. So but um, today you are a storyteller. Yes. Today you are a storyteller. Today I'm a, I'm a storyteller. And you are talking about love. Yes. Okay. So today you will remove your many other hats. And I will talk about but love. But we might ask you to give us a, a quick wrap at the end of this story. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Are you, you never ready? know. You never know how this how. So this that's how you want us to wrap it up. Yeah, we might wrap it up. <laughs> 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 Please, introduce yourself. Yes, my name is Audrey. Okay. Um, I am a banker by profession, oh. but also I'm a minister. Um, I minister to music. Okay, that is um, worship. Okay, so you are, yeah, but you're a banker by profession. Yes. So your competencies are banking. Yes. So the two most um, opposites attracted. So I'll begin with the lady, because ladies first, yeah. And this okay. is uh, the month of love. So, ladies first. How did you meet Dante? Um, I met Dante in church. Mm -hmm. It was I, I had seen him around. I had I'd had I had heard about him because he he is well known around. He's a celebrity. He's a celebrity. He's a, if he's a, I would, he's, he's a celebrity. Yes. He's a he's a he's a celebrity. Yes. Okay. So, um, and you are a banker. Yeah. So yeah. I, I know what you thought. <laughs> You're like, mm, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And she talk about. I that. am not getting involved with a musician. <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, I remember this um, particular day. I I, w I was in church. I didn't have plans to go anywhere, and I was just chilling. And guys were, they had they had plans. So my friend comes to me and tells me. Um, why don't we go and hang out with my friends? I'm thinking, okay, I don't have anything else to do, so yeah, it's okay, let's let's go. And we go and it's I find out it's his birthday. I'm like, okay, this so is the guy. Get crusher in his, uh, um, they get crusher in his birthday. <laughs> but um, I play it cool. Um, mm. I'm quiet. I'm the quiet person in the room. I know. Everyone is. Everyone is. All yeah oil you up know? and down mm -hmm. and, and having fun but i don't know anyone but um, I'm, I'm i'm here so yeah i have to enjoy myself so um cut the long story short the birthday was over um we, we were to go home and he gives my responsibility to go with the rest of the other young people and yeah i take it up and he asks me so and i ask him so how will you know if we get home safe? And he's like, okay, you can have my number. Once you get home, you can actually let me know you got home safe. I'm like, okay. And yeah, we get home and I call him and I tell him we got home safe. And yeah, we talk and talk and talk and talk and talk until morning. And yeah, and that's where it all started. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's the same story for you. You know, people, when people meet, apparently there are two sides of every coin. Yeah, and we are is, there, is, there, yeah, is there any part of that story that uh, you, 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 it was different for you? Yeah, I, I, and I'm thinking about it right now. I think even when I'm asking her friend to invite us, so we, had a, we have a mutual friend, and um, I had seen them sing together, and so I'm telling her friend, si kuje tu. I, I'm realizing that I, kumbe, I, I had, I had liked this girl, mm. and I think that is what I was not able to say then. Mm. And so, yeah, because I didn't mind if she was in my party. And remember, this was, it was just an invite-only thing. So, yeah, and um, 
I, I, honestly, even even us changing numbers, because I, I didn't think about it. It wasn't something like I had planned to do. Now this girl, she's going home. I will give her my number. Uh, I had forgotten totally. So it was pure. Um, it was so authentic that I, it, we didn't have hidden agendas or anything. I just saw a responsible girl that I needed to, you know, ha give a responsibility, and she would take care of the girls that I had invited over for the party or to the party. And yeah, she she pulled it off really well. Okay. And yeah, that's what it. I, I felt like this is a girl I want to spend some time with. Okay. Yeah. So you spent two and a half years. Yeah. I think one of the things I wanted to ask is, when people date, mm. what activities do they get up to? Because mm. mm. I think sometimes we get up to all kinds of very dangerous activities when we are dating. Mm. So you, what what do you guys do for for activities when you are dating? Yeah, Kwanzaa. When when when. The people in my in the youth ministry come and tell me, and me patam dem and to me anza kudet. After one week, they come back and tell me so to kopoa, but to tadu. You know, they don't know what to <laughs> exactly. do after so. Uh, exactly. Mrembo a mengi a box, <laughs> but uh, they don't know what to do now from that point. I think for us, I knew that would come up, and I just let God be. And I, from the word go, we had clear, um, or rather, I don't know how to call it, but it was clear to us that. We, and especially for me, because I was to lead her. I knew my role. My role was to lead her, and I needed to lead her into a place that uh, I wouldn't mind leading other people to. And so I had to come up with things and activities that would be interesting for both of us, and activities that wouldn't find, get us into compromising you know, dramatic situations. So we did a lot of uh, chipo at Sanford. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We did. Uh, Chipo at Sanford is such a bad idea. <laughs> you, yeah, I, I, we, no, I needed honest. to start somewhere because yeah, to I wanted to know. I, I wanted to know who she is, um, and if you can cool a Chipo at Sanford, uh -huh. then she can cool a Chipo at Java. Okay. And so later on in life, we we also did a lot of all those. But I made so I ensure that every month there's something unique I'm doing. So um, you planned out. You planned yes. out the activities. Yes, because I didn't so want us to be in a in a in a place where we are asking each other to do. Yeah. Because I think sometimes people end up, and I, I want to say this, you know, very sadly, people may end up playing husband and wife mm. because they just don't have anything else to yes. do. It, so it they end up in, in a homes in a house somewhere, and what else is there to do? Yeah. And so I, I think that if it's not planned out, the date becomes yeah. very, very boring. Yeah, the, the last question you want to have in a relationship is letting the lady know that you don't have a plan. Mm. And as a man, I needed to let her know that by there I have a plan, I got it. You I, I got <laughs> it. Trust me. <laughs> now, uh, th therein comes the next problem. Mm. Many men or young people I talk to say they don't have money to date girls. Yeah. Like, okay, they like a girl. Mm. But dating is expensive. You have to go to hotels. Mm. So I, I think many men will prefer just take her to my house. We cook mm. ugali. Mm. Um, today, tomorrow, and the other day. Uh, today, tomorrow, <laughs> and the other day. Then it just becomes a come mistake because now she's left her some of her things in the house. Then, you know, that whole drama begins to unfold. And then it normally ends up with the big one. Yeah. <laughs> Dante, I'm so sorry, but I'm we, we are going to have a baby. Then now you are a father. Uh, so uh, <laughs> you used to call each yeah. other, <laughs> hey, baby. Mm. And now you're like, you're yeah, like, hey, you have my baby. You have my baby. Oh, I have your baby. Suddenly you are a baby daddy. So how do you avoid becoming mm. a, a baby daddy? Because I think many people start off with good intentions. Somebody told me, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And I got into a relationship knowing very well that if, you do, if I don't have a plan for this, it will flop, it will fail. Uh, where I stand in, in leadership at church, it's not a, a place that I would want to risk anything. I wanted to be sure. And now it became more messy because, quote unquote, because I'm dating a, cha a girl from this community. So if anything goes wrong, to tajulikana to, you know? And I was willing to, to do that. And by the way, to share more, kill to look to share And maybe that answering your last question, yeah. some of the things that she didn't know is that I'm not dating a girl from this church. Okay. I am not. Ato kweaji. And kumbe I'm coming into this new community and I know the girls will be like all over me, but I am not. Ato kwenani. Okay. Look at where we are now. I know. Now. This you is a story. celebration, <laughs> isn't you it? Story. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, but um, what, what we, I am, I'm a creative, and being a creative, 
I am able to create um, different things, different situations, experiences. And I can't consider myself a rich guy, because uh, I'm not, but I have a mind that is constantly creating stuff. And so I would not always be have money to buy gifts, you know, but I will have time and you know, the ability to create gifts for her. I created stuff that she's never heard from anyone. Okay. I brought her things that she'd never expected, because these were my own creations. Never, not borrowed anywhere, not copied anywhere. And that's why I think I want her heart. She needs to confirm that. So. Okay. <laughs> Can you confirm that, that the man actually may not have a lot of money, but you sense he put in time and effort to date you? Yes, I constantly feel that way because I love traveling. And I think my first traveling experience was with him, like outside the country, well planned, everything catered for. I was just to just come and present myself and we go. And uh, I felt um, a responsible person. I felt someone who thinks about you and is willing to go an extra mile, even when you don't have much to give. Mm -hmm. So that really won my heart. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Anyway, so, but for you, <laughs> let, me, let me move on. Let me move this forward. For you, um, at some point you needed, you had that moment. I don't know how long into the relationship you had that moment where you, you had to ask the question, so what are we doing? Because chicks normally come to that point where you are like, eh, okay, ninini oh. <laughs> eh, So uh, when did that moment come to you? Uh, I think when we first met, um, I had my, my intentions clear. I remember telling him, I'm not dating. I don't want to date to waste time. In fact, I want to settle down. So if I'm getting into something, I want it to be something that would lead to maybe a lifetime together and not just, um, not just yeah, not just, uh, it's, it's, we're just relating and, and mm. nothing beyond that. Okay. So I think that really um, helped me to help him to know where I was at and um, yeah helped him like know exactly what I wanted and that was a bit easier for us to move forward so yes. from the time you began the relationship you were very clear if you are not going to marry me leave me alone is, is that did she say it like that or what did, did you, you have to, okay I think let me ask the question again Audrey did you have to get tough because I think in some yes. relationships, the guys are very comfortable no. doing nothing. Did you have to get tough and ask him, when are we getting married? Uh, it's okay. I wasn't, I wasn't sure when I wanted to get married. But I knew if I'm getting into a relationship, it had to be something that would lead somewhere. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe he can... He can <laughs> He can yeah, comment this, this is, this on is, that. This is different because in this case, I was also very ready. Okay. And I didn't want to get into a relationship where we would just date and mm. at some point break up and then psh, see me life. Mm. No, I, I knew if I'm getting myself into a relationship, it has to work somehow. And so I was willing to put work. I was willing to put God at the center. And even without the money, because people told me, and she maybe she'll confirm this later. Her friends kept telling you, "Are you sure you want to be with you mm. know Dante?" Because uh, they and they wouldn't tell her that, but mm. we, we could hear voices of mm. because he doesn't have the money. Mm. And I don't know what she used to answer, but um, when we were getting into it, or when I was getting into it, I knew very well that I was I was to marry this girl. Okay. And so I I positioned myself in a way that. Um, I don't. I would not let her ask questions, or I would not let let her be in, in a desperate situation where she has to ask me when are we getting getting married. After um, like two months of just co constant talks on phone uh, and everything, just hanging out, I ensured that I now had to create an, a, a meeting where I invited her and I told her, "But they would like us to meet on a particular time, mm. venue, come church." And I remember we sat somewhere in some staircase and we did, we used to do what we, we used to call YouTube Hangout. And we would go on YouTube and just play in videos. And for me, it was just to help understand uh, what she likes and stuff like that. And at that point, I told her, you know what? I want to marry you. Okay. And this is what means it means for me. And I, l I put on my manifesto.
nilienda hapo nikaekelea manifesto kwa mimi ukachuza kabisa check ndio mimi huyo if you want it if you like it crown it <laughs> and uh, yeah i told her and i know you are about to tell me give me a few you know mm. give me some time to think her, yeah, about did you did you ask for time <laughs> to think about it okay so you asked for time to think about it and then you came back and said yes so why has it taken you two and a half years what have you been doing praying <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, seriously. What if, if in two months you knew you wanted to be married? What have you been doing for two and a half years? She can answer that. What do you, what 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 happened? Well, <laughs> I don't really. Tell me how long did you take to get back to him? I hear. <laughs> Actually, a month. One month later, you came back and you said yes, you want to get married. But I think for me, why I'm asking you this question is. What were the preparation steps? What, what have you been doing for two, two and a half years? Mm. You um, know? And I, I think this is where personalities come in. Um, he's a sanguine, he's a doer. Mm. Um, I'm a flag. Mm. So I'd like to think about stuff. So what if this doesn't work? Mm. What if I get into it and it's not what I want? So I, I felt like I needed time to actually, I know I love this guy and everything, but I felt I needed time to really be in that space where I know this is really what I want. Yes. So, so Shizan has been slowing this thing down. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a slow I'm down. A I've, I've completely, <laughs> you know, I've gotten it. Yeah, and I'm a slow down. But yeah. it's okay. Everybody, everybody yeah. needs somebody to kind of slow them down. Because yeah. if you give a new, given an opportunity, I think you would have married a, after three months, right? Yeah, that year, November. Yeah. <laughs> 2017, November is going down. Um, but here she is. Uh, she's so fast. We, we, we are praying about the whole thing. And of course, I didn't tell her that. By the, I mentioned, come on, be, you know, me, by the November, me now, I'm mm. ready. But uh, it's all right. Take your time. And so we took some time and prayed about it. Mm. We went into prayer and fasting mm. and just praying for the whole thing. And then the next phase, was to let people know, mm. but not everybody. Mm. So we only chose two people who would let know. And then after those two people, and until we were comfortable with them and we had accountability, because we didn't want to do things alone. She had uh, come from a relationship where she had, um, it was, I would, I would say, a celebrity relationship where it's all over. What? It, Girl. It's all over. <laughs> Girl, you you were always going for the I, celebs. I know. <laughs> she's, she's wise. So... <laughs> So she didn't want that. She didn't want um, our photos on Facebook. She didn't want us to, you know, talk about it. She didn't want. She wanted to learn me from me, not from yeah. from what people say. And so that also took us some time. And mm -hmm. I got so impatient because I'm a my, the choleric in me yeah. wants to, you know, let's yeah. let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, just see, we tell people that we're dating. You know, accountability. But we, we cho just cho cho chose two people, and from there we had to choose. Now our pastors needed to be aware. And they needed to be um, to have warmth around it, and the whole thing. We needed to do visits. So by size, in around Apokatikat, um, we had our first big fight, like first ever, and it was How amazing. How big was it? Like very big. <laughs> like <laughs> if it was a movie, it would sell so much. Yeah, <laughs> it, was it was a big one. So anyway, reason of it was time. Oh, okay. Kwanza yende. Okay. We wanted to meet up. We we needed to do in our church. We have Noah. No classes. It's um yeah, primarily primary talk. Okay. Yeah, counseling. So we needed we needed to do that before twenty lesana. But we needed to let her parents know that we are doing this before twenty lesana. So her parents travelled a lot and that also time bad in end. So if you're asking Actually it's two and a half years, eighteen months. Yes. Okay. I, my other Any gestation period, and over, I think. I know. <laughs> I think uh, my, my question to you would also be, has, do you think it's been valuable, Audrey, the 18 months? Yes, I, I, think, I think it has, because for me, um, I look at love differently. I, I've heard of people saying, um, I met this guy and I fell in love. But for me, I think I have a different way of looking at love. And I shared with him and was telling him, I, I do not want to fall in love. Um, I want to walk in love. 
And I feel these two years have been a journey of just me getting to know who he is, what he likes, what he doesn't like. Um, and I feel that is a face people um, don't really take time to, get to just get to know this person. You get into a relationship and you want to get married when you don't even know who this person is. So I felt it was, it was for me, I felt I really want to know this guy. I really want to know what he likes, what he doesn't like. And having the position that he holds in church, I needed to also be involved in what he's doing so that when I'm making this decision of actually settling down with him, I know, I actually know what I'm getting into. So I think, I feel that the time is not really, um, I don't know, I, I lack words to, to it say. It wasn't wasted time. It wasn't wasted time. Okay. I feel it's, it's valuable, like, yes, yes. Dante, I'm sure because you work in church, you see a lot of young people. And I want to say this about church boys and girls. Eh? Mm. There's so much drama around church boys and girls. Mm. They meet, then there's always some kind of drama, especially worship. We always say the worship mm. leaders, mm. I don't know what happens with them. They always, some drama always happens you with them. Sunny. So for you, the fact that you met a girl who um, slowed you down, do you see value? Because there's somebody who would probably walk up to you and say, Dante, say munge kwa mbeza mtoto ange kwa naenda shule. What would you say to that? Um, I, I needed to be sober. I needed to, to go beyond um, all these things that I hear. I needed to go beyond so much. And so for me, what I did is, um, and, and, and I can say, um, the two years, um, as Jakua wasted, because he has helped me uh, learn and, and grow in love with her. But um, when I see young people get into relationships and then a month later they break up, I see a lot of, uh, I see a lot of um, young people who are not willing to be responsible and who are not willing to put work into their relationships because and one thing we agreed when we were starting up is that relationship is work. You must, have, you must be willing to work. And that means that even when you know, the going gets tough, you have to get tough for the going. And that means even when she doesn't speak to me, I will have to look for ways on how I can make her speak to me. She's not a bad person. She's just going through a phase. And I need to be, as a man, I need to be her leader, her king, her father, her warrior. And warriors don't fight the villagers, they fight for the villagers, they protect the villagers, and whatever she's going through inside her, I might not understand because she's female, I am male, but I need to stand strong for her and see her through. Some men or some boys is that when that phase is happening, they want to walk away and let her be. When she says, let me be, I need my time, they take that and they walk away and they want to let her be, and some other guy finds her in that state and they go with her, and, and they start now coming back to the pastor, and I'm like, you know, you let her go. I wish you fought. I wish you realized that this needs, um, you know, this is this needs grit. This needs you to be tough. And 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 yeah, some of the dramas is um, people getting in, young people getting into relationship. They don't have a plan, and a few months later, they they come and one of them is pregnant. Sana sana the girl, and. Of course, the girl is the one who's <laughs> pregnant. I hope the girl is the one who's pregnant. No, you know what I tell them? 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 You One of you will be pregnant. Sana sana, we were damned with a queer. So we were rada. And they, 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 they feel like, ah, he's honest. Wanna say my too? And they come, they tell me, so I have something I want to say. So it's become so dramatic. The guy apparently has rookered the story mm -hmm. and he's with some other chick and it gets dramatic mm. with worship leaders, at least with our church. I haven't seen that a lot, but I know these things happen. But it's the mere thing of uh, masking, you know? When you're on stage, you are like the second person from God. Mm. You're leading us in worship, mm. tears all over, and we want to believe that, yo, if you're taken away, we will not be able to connect with God. And so you also buy that, and you forget that you're also human. You have emotions that you need to be in charge of. You have issues that you need to work with on, work on, and you get to you 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 you, you get yourself into a position or in a relationship with someone who admires you because they see you leading well, singing well, and all that stuff. But they don't really 
understand what you're battling with or what you're going through. Mm -hmm. So this is a guy who is not willing to work with you mm -hmm. and they're only willing to be in a room with you. Mm -hmm. And that is where the whole mess happens. So people need to understand themselves. But most importantly, people need to drop masks. Okay. Yes. Before we go into a break, how important is it that the men lead? I have a feeling, mm. this is just my own hyp hypothesis, which I mm. could be very wrong, but that men don't lead relationships. Mm. The women wait mm. for the man to lead. Mm. Uh, by the time a woman is asking you, where is this thing going? It's because mm. you have, she's waited, mm. she's waited, mm. she's like, okay, this man will never say anything. Mm. How important is it that the man lead? And if the thing is not going to work, that the man owns up and mm. says, by the way, mm. me, I think this thing is not going to work. Because I think most men kind of, they kind of, uh, they're very enjoying, passive. they're very passive and yeah. enjoying the goods. Yes. Yes. You, it's beyond it's beyond actually leading. W what I tell people is that when a man lacks vision, a community collapses. When a man lacks vision, a relationship breaks somehow. So it's important that the man first has a vision. Where are we going with this? He has to understand first, even before involving somebody else. Yes. Because I'm not pulling her so we can figure out together. I am pulling her so that I can tell her, you know what? So you come on a white mm. That's where I want us to go. So mm. I invited her and I told her, I want us to go to Foreverland. Where is that? I thought, you know what? I don't know where that is, but I can see A, B, C, and D. And I painted a picture of where I want us to go. And I, I, told, I asked her, would you like to hold my hand and walk with me through the journey? Let's trust the process. So it is important that a man leads. If the man doesn't have a voice, the lady will either soon over take over and that annoys the man. The man will start getting or indulging into habits that are not really um, important or necessary, okay. and, and the relationship will collapse. So it is important that the man leads. Okay. But before the man leads, it is important that the man, Pekiake to Mahali, he needs to have his vision clear. We are going into a break. We'll be back with Faith, um, our, our counselor, who will um, add value, and I'm sure she'll add value to that conversation. So don't go too far. We'll be right back. We are back and we're talking about dating. It's the month of February. And we've just had the most interesting conversation about a couple, Dante and Audrey, a banker, a career banker, and a career DJ who are planning to get married this April, a few months away, and their dating journey. So I want to welcome Faith. Faith is a counselor. Um, Faith, tell us a bit about yourself. Thank you. My name is Faith Gishanga Osiro. Uh, and I'm a counselor. Okay. Uh, basically, I think as we go along with this uh, topic, you'll get to know more about myself. Okay. Faith, you've heard the story of Dante and Audrey and about dating. Why, why should people date? Why not just meet somebody you know you love them and then you just go home and start a family? After all, as many people will say, the truth of the matter is you never really know people. All right, thank you. I wish it was that easy. First of all, congratulations uh, to the both of you. Thank uh, you. Welcome to this other side. Uh, it has its promises, <laughs> and it's full of, it's a, it's a place where you really grow. Mm. Right? Okay, so dating, it's really just about getting to know each other. And while it's true, you will never really get to know the other person fully, you can try. <laughs> you can at least do some, there's some key things that you can uh, look for or at least discuss. Uh, beforehand. I imagine how you might be siblings from the same family, grown up, same experiences, same school, same parenting style, but you still conflict. Now imagine two people, different gender, come from very different backgrounds, uh, different personalities. So you can imagine it's a mixture, it's a, it's a bug of a lot of things, both good but also things that uh, make us conflict. So dating period is important. Now the thing is, how long should we do it? In my opinion, I don't think there's a template. And I think it's different from one couple to another. There are people who, when you start dating, you start even realizing that you even need to work on yourself first. So that takes longer. There are people, probably you're from another relationship and you are hurt. So you need to deal with that. Maybe your family background, you grew up in a family where you saw your parents maybe fighting. So you need to heal from that. Yeah. So the, 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 
length, I don't think there's a really, there's a template for that. And I think it will depend from one relationship to another. Okay. Dante, why you, do you come from very different backgrounds? Yes. Very different in the sense yes. that, you know, how is your background different from Audrey's? Um, I thought we were, growing up, we were really sensitive about hygiene and stuff until I met her. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, I am that. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't say that, but I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. And, and I don't know, but I just feel, um, f so for example, growing up, I grew up in the village. Nili kam Nairobi matembezi. Okay, kusoma. Okay. <laughs> but I grew up in the village. She grew up in Nairobi. So part of her story also starts in the in the from the village, but really very kitambo. Mm. So that also is very different from how we view things, from how we reason. Our parents are different. My parents are doers. Her parents uh, are into processing stuff fast, and so she is. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a doer. I, I come up with something, I think about it, and I do right now. Because I've been brought, my dad used to tell me, chap, 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 chap. Mm. Una fikiria sana, mm. tufanye. And so when somebody also takes so much time processing, I feel like they are wasting my time. Isn't it funny, Faith, that uh, opposites attract? I think that's how God created it, that we are very different, and that's what attracts. But eventually in marriage, I think that's what really repels. Eventually people begin to fight. Yes. They begin to have the conflict because the things that made you come together and love each other are now the things that you cannot stand about each mm -hmm. other, isn't it? <laughs> so, Faith, I, I know that we do premarital counseling. How important is that? Because I think that's where we begin to understand what we are trying to do here. All right. And, and yes, that's, that's a paradox um, that if, if, for example, I was saying, if you're very... Uh, fast and chap chap in doing things, then you you meet this person who's laid back. So at that time it looks like they're calm and they're laid back. It's not that they are not as fast as I am. And and it attracts you to that. Or someone who's very loud and talkative and this person calms them. So it's like this person grounds them. And for the quiet person, this person brings them alive. Um, so yes, it's a paradox. And you get married and this person who brings you alive brings you two alive and yeah. all the time and, <laughs> and uh, you you like, I don't want to be this alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's a paradox and I think it's uh, one of those things where we we will never figure out how but but that's how it comes about. Now, premarital counseling. It's I I, I cannot overemphasize people need to do pre mm. premarital counseling. Yeah. Mm. And that's why a lot of uh, especially couples who cohabit, you see they miss that out. Yeah. And they get into so many challenges. Like yeah. they move from, like they move from nursery to, to university. To university, mm. absolutely. So they miss a whole step. Absolutely. Mm. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, yeah. that, that's uh, okay. And yeah. I, I agree with you. So, but when you're wedded in church, the, it's a requirement, and it's a. I, I'm glad that it's a requirement. Um, so then, how it's conducted? That's also another different thing. So maybe you can. Th there are different types. Counselors, there's a counselor. You can come and uh, we walk you through. So that one, then it's not. It has no spiritual uh, angle to it. But as a counselor, I will tell you, it's important for you to, I will, you know, I will not be there to quote scriptures, but to tell you, you need to walk in agreement spiritually. So if it's Islam, then walk in agreement together because if, if you're different. So if it's Christianity, walk in agreement. But then it doesn't go as far as, you know, um, you know quoting scriptures and all. And then there's a church one. Um, it, it's a good space because that one is also grounding you spiritually. However, there are different types of those that are done in church. If you go for one and it's a sort of like a lecture, it might not be very effective. So you need one where there's maybe peer learning or lots group, of experimentation. Yes, group sessions. For example, they talked about Ndoa. Yeah. Uh, I have been involved in it for a long time. Actually, the manual is even written by a counselor. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it, it's the, like the best of both worlds. You have someone considering the psychological aspects and then the spiritual aspects as well. So the fact that it's done in a group session, that's one. Because then, some of the things you're fighting about, you get to speak and you're like, mm. oh, okay, ah, so you guys also struggle with this. And okay, what, what have you done about it? How do you, you know? So there's, li there's peer learning. Mm. Uh, and, but then also, the, the, the realness of it. Mm. It's, it's, it's not someone who's high talking to people yeah. who are there talking down. We are all in this and we are interacting. So even if it's a church program, 
it look is, for one it, that's, yes. that's a good one. Yes, 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 yes. And will provoke. If it didn't provoke, because going through like uh, the one they're talking about Ndoa, at some point you question yourself, are we really? Because it provokes you and it makes you talk mm -hmm. about things that when you're dating and you're in love and you're all happy, you know, you don't, you don't want to go there. But here you are and you're confronted with it. So you need to find one that will make you confront um, some of those areas that you don't want to necessarily deal with. Yes. Yeah. I'll ask this one to Audrey. How useful was your accountability partner? I think accountability partners are eventually ended, are supposed to end up being your best and best woman, but I don't think people care about that anymore. I think we just pick up. I know we hire a guy or some, some lady who can look really cool, you know, the people who can we walk. But, during our wedding, <laughs> but how important is it? Mics. Yeah, you guys have tried to do it properly. So you had a couple, I hope, or a group of people who were account you were accountable to. How important was that? Um, I'd say it's, it's really important because then um, these are people who understand the two of you. So when there's an, let's say, a uh, disagreement, they don't necessarily um, give you, tell you what to do. They only guide you on how to be able to solve that conflict. So I... I I think it's important to have uh, accountability, people who understand you as a person and understand him as a person. Then from there, now they are able to guide you and, and give you advice even when you're having disagreement. Okay. Yes. okay, I wanted to ask you about the first fight because that's important. Mm. <laughs> I think many couples, they have their first fight and it either makes them or breaks them. I mean, that's, that's really it. You are either in it or you, are, you, know, you have your first moment where you see each other's claws. Mm. How was your first fight and how did you get <coughs> over it? How did you move forward? How did you not lift up your hands? <laughs> Daughter, Miss, Miss Banka, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Do the math. <laughs> Do the math, I'm out. Um, yeah, I think for me, so, so I remember. So one of the things that I had known earlier is that a relationship has to say, like three two stages. Mm -hmm. eh? The honeymoon one where we are all lovey dovey, the drama stage, and now the dream stage. And that is also because we got to learn it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So um, so I knew this honeymoon that season that we're going through is coming to an end at some point. I don't know when, but I don't want to push it. So she one day asked, I can't wait. I think we were so much in love, she said. I can't wait to to and I told her, really? <laughs> we didn't We got into a fight that was so bad. And you know what the problem was? It's because I had all this time to look at on a chat. Mm. To look at on a chat daily, 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 daily. And then she gets a job. And it doesn't dawn to me that Kumbe, naturally, mm. she's not a chatty person. Mm. It's because she was in love. And now that she's got a job, um, she had job first. Uh, I need to work. Her priorities kind yes. of shifted yes. from you. Yes. You I are no longer the center yeah. of attention. Sit <laughs> on <laughs> So you relax. Mm. Mimi, I'm, I'm, I'm like, so what do you mean you can't reply to a text now? Why are you not call, uh, calling back? Why are you not picking my calls? Why are you not replying my texts? And I got so mad. So you saw him mad for the first time? I got so mad. And that, that, that was our first fight. Okay. And I remember at the same time I was also battling with so much pressure from, yeah, I think it was, it was from work and so many other things that were going around me. And I needed her so much. It's just that she didn't know that I needed her that much. And during that time, if the closest person I have can't pick my calls, can't reply to my texts, then I think the world is coming to an end. So you know what? Uh, for the first time in my life, I switched off my phone and I didn't want to hear from anyone, even her. And you are I didn't, I think, <laughs> uh, so later on she would call my friends, finding, looking for me, they would call me, they wouldn't get me. I would go to work, like my shangwin and delia kawaida. And you think this is a long period of time. No, this is just 24 hours. Remember we've been talking so much. So when I don't, when I'm mteja, she's never seen me um, go mteja. So she was really frightened. And so when she got me, finally she asked me, what's the problem, I told her. I talked in a way that I told her by day you have contributed to this because when I thought you would help me, I feel like you're so far away. So I am the problem. Okay, fine. At I end up missing. Or I couldn't reach her, I couldn't get her, I couldn't talk to her. And that went for some time, for like a week. 
Great. That was our first fight. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. How important is it that for couples who are dating, they start becoming real? Because I think dating is sanitized in the sense that you meet in hotels, uh, you go to Java, you're always surrounded by... Th there's something wonderful about dating that almost removes you from real life. Um, how important is it and how can people become real? How do we create in situations where people can become real with each other? Okay, um, so like that premarital is one of them. If you get one that puts in that place, I've, I've done that in for so many times. In fact, there's a particular week five mm -hmm. after you know things get so thick because you have to confront things that you ideally would have wanted to just uh, put on the side. So that's one. Uh, number two, like they're saying, having an accountability mm -hmm. uh, couple of someone, especially someone who's older, who's married longer, because then that person, and this is someone who can be able to ask you questions, um, yeah, tough, hard questions, questions. Yeah. tough questions, tough mm. questions, yes. And then number three, even peer, just peer, if you have people in the same um, cohort that you're going through the mm. same phase. Because then, you know what happens sometimes, uh, maybe the two of them are fighting about something and they're putting it down low. Then another couple, theirs comes out. So you see, they'll have to go and address mm. theirs as well. Mm. As much as you know, we are helping this person, mm. we'll have to yeah. uh, address. So there are many forums uh, mm. like those. And even just shows. Nowadays, we have quite a lot of uh, shows, and this being one of them, that we, you know, we are talking about this now. Mm. Someone somewhere is sitting down, and he, will, he or she will hear their story. Mm. So get yourself also exposed to uh, the spaces where relationships are being talked about. Yeah. Okay, how dangerous is can we stay? I, I, I've always wanted to ask a counselor this because I've always felt that people who do can we stay will tell you there's no better place to know someone like to India kwa nyumba to korogane uko. Then after that, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, kila mtu ende yake. How dangerous is it? Is it even dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, just going by statistics, people who cohabit before they get married and we assume they've cohabited so they've known each other, their rate of divorce is higher than people who don't cohabit. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes. So just going by the statistics, yeah. uh, that, that's what it is. So now let's go to the cohabiting itself. First of all, what we said, they have no preparation because, I mean, the two of them, before they get married in April, they'll have gone through the door class. Yes. And also the fact that we know that they're getting married, even I, I can meet them on the streets and ask them mm. a question. Mm. But the cohabiting parents don't even know. You know, like no, it's, it's a secret. People don't know, yes. yeah. So there's really no accountability. Absolutely no accountability. That's number one. Number two, you're entering into a relationship with a door open on the other side. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, the level of commitment, um, yes. Yeah. The level of commitment, the level, it's I have one foot out, one foot in. So challenges will come. As sure as the sun rises, challenges will come. But when you when you get married, it's a more it's a, it's a commitment. It's a bigger commitment rather than we're just cohabiting. And I know in Kasirisha, I can mm. leave. So those are some of the reasons why can we stay does not work. About knowing each other. As long as so you know even that one is still not sanitized. Again, uh, it's not. It's also not foolproof mm. because uh, especially maybe like a lady i do want this relationship to end up in marriage yeah so Most i will do yeah exactly so i will live a certain way um and then we tie the knot and then so phew, you know i i get my real self the disillusionment in that marriage now and maybe for both uh the guy who used to come home early and you we get married he's comfortable now and he can come in at 3 a.m. So there's also that you see in marriage mm, Well, there's a honeymoon stage, but it's real you get in and it's real. It's a real thing. There's no that of okay Let's play house Yeah, because co cohabiting is almost let's give it a shot. Yes. Mm. Yes. Let's okay. let's yeah so It's, it's getting into into something with the if in mind. Yeah, and, and that's so dangerous mm. For us, we didn't have a plan B Just so play. this is it. This is it. Okay. Can and we I will fight through it. Yeah, yeah, I have another question concerning cohabiting and can we stay? I think you as, as two people who work in church and serve in church and are pastors, I'm sure you've made some kind of a purity vow. Mm. How hard is it hmm. to keep a relationship pure, whatever that means, in, in the Kenyan world? Because I, I'm told it's not easy. Young people tell me it's not easy. There is not possible. We are dreaming. We are dreaming. It's not possible. So could you first of all tell us, is it possible 
to abstain and for two and a half years, how? Mm. Wh what did you do differently? Mm. Um, like I said, having a plan is key. And we talked about it from the word go and we decided, we, make, we made an agreement that, and this is to each other and also to God that, um, I would want to marry you uh, and get the best gift from you. And my best gift from you would be ABCD. And for me, it was, uh, um, I want to have sex with you when we first get, first when we get married. And, and um, now because of that, we realized that there are things that we needed to do so that we, we at least get yeah, there. Yeah, so you so don't backslide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've and always wanted to use that one. <laughs> So how do you not backslide? I mean, I think people start off, especially mm. church people, mm. Mm. they start off with a really good intention. They mm. tell each other, we are going to abstain, mm. this will not happen, mm. blah, blah. But then eventually, mm. bad things happen to good people. So what is it that you've done you know, to stop yourselves from getting there? Responsibility is not having a guy who can bring Maziwa back home every day. Responsibility is having a guy who is able to be in charge of himself. And then you and if also you are that and then you meet then that's a responsible couple and it starts there number two it is realized or not looking for things that would lead you there all of us have different triggers mm -hmm. right for me it's a movie i will watch that would make me think you know in a certain way uh, for somebody else food they will eat so how can we so for us it was we realized that um when we hug and then i give her a peck uh, it really uh, you know like that just, you know, just to the next yeah. yeah, and we realized that, and we, and we kissed, and then we realized that this kind can go on. Those two, three times, we realized, no, I think if we want to make it to our, um, you know, some uh, purity, uh, some nice wedding, some clean wedding, we need to stop this kissing thing because this is what now led us to that. So that didn't go on for some time, and we said, you know, this will be tough, but I am willing to do 60, uh, 30 days with you. 30 days, we will not not even have anything that will arouse any feelings for me and also for her. So 30 days were over and we said, all right, after this 30 days, can we try 90 days, uh, Bila contact, Bila meeting in... No, we're in, talking in about physical contact. Now. Yes, yeah. okay. yes, yes, yes. Not meeting in, in places without uh, people um, and all those things. And, and we went on and we went until right now, I will tell you for a fact, it's not an issue. We don't think about it. It, you, after, after some time, we stopped becoming a challenge anymore. And so we started feeling like, ah, we can actually, we can actually do this. Mm -hmm. And so we looked for something else that could be a trigger. And it's movies we watched, movies mm -hmm. with uh, nude scenes, movies with um, uh, heavy language. Mm -hmm. We would also avoid such. And right now it's become, we love funny movies, we love movies that are, you know, things like that. Because also when we invite people into our house later, we want them to, to adopt a culture that we have built together, and and it had to start somewhere. I mean, you wouldn't want your child to be watching yes. uh, langu uh, music with terrible yeah, language yes, and, yes, yes. and nude scenes. Yes, so it had to first work for us yeah. and then for other people. So it's those small things. F Faith, I, I, I wanted to ask you about um, dating leading to marriage and just dating. I think we are in a culture that says, just date. Just go out and have a good time. A guy asks, three people ask you out, you are, you are dating four men. You are dating six men. You know, it's okay. I mean, it's a date, you know? We also live in a culture that says, you know, it's okay, you can have sex. I mean, uh, you know, with as many men as possible. One day you'll settle down. Yeah? How does that affect marriage eventually? There's um, a misconception we have that once you get married, I don't know, a newness yeah. comes. Yeah, after uh, you've had the wedding. <laughs> yes, yes, actually. You yeah, become a new you, person. You, and, and all the, if you used to watch, let's say, You used to pornography, watch pornography. It, it will just it go, will go away. away. It's, yes, uh, and it doesn't work like that. So these are behaviors that you have to build when you're dating. In fact, some of those, it's even before you're dating. Be whole. You know some of the things we're saying, be whole yourself. If the, some of the things that you're doing, you know can affect your mind. Don't, you know, if you get into a relationship, they will just, uh, you'll just get entangled. So one of the thing is that these are habits, because then when you get married, if you are used to four men and four, marriage know, won't change that. If you are used to having four men, then you cannot, you one yes. man will never be enough for the you. The first three months, the honeymoon, then after that, you 
start looking yeah. for uh, what's more, what's, what's, what's there. So things like um, even, even just abstinence. Mm. People, what, what, when before you're married, you don't realize that sometimes in marriage, you might even have to abstain. Let's say one spouse is sick for a long time. Or one spouse is pregnant. Is pregnant yeah. and the hormones have, yeah. yes, have decided that, you know. So that's what people, you know, the, before you're married, don't realize. You think, uh, once I get into it, then I won't have to go, you know, to, to have that urge anymore because I'll always have. But that's not the case. Life happens. So these are um, character uh, traits that you should work Bind. on before before otherwise it won't change you will carry you and all your baggage into the marriage okay i want to end because i'm told we're out of time tell us a bit about the t-shirts you're wearing the caps what's that about in 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 a hundred words the caps is just swag oh the um, caps is a swag i thought it matched with the t-shirt it did that's <laughs> swag <laughs> but okay. um the t-shirt the move is um the newest movement in town and um the move is a church plant of Nairobi, uh, of uh, life spring chapel mm. And uh, we, are, I'm the lead, um, I'm the team leader there, and we are all about li li um, reaching youth that are um, creative and that are in business and all those mm. stuff, and especially them that uh, find church not cool. Okay. So we have our service happening every Wednesday, and not on Sunday. Okay. It happens in the evening when they have tokered from hustle, not during the day when we, because we, we don't want to get them out of hustle. So mm. this is, we call our audience Charlie and Chacha. And Charlie is a very creative guy, a very uh, talented, but he doesn't want to get a job because he, he believes nobody can, you know, put him, him in a box is not really a cool thing. Chacha is also like that. And Charlie and Chacha could have a baby, but they are not married um, legally. Um, it's what you're talking about here. So you have your work cut out yes. with Charlie and Chacha. Yes. So you best get married properly. Yes. Yeah, because if you don't, then Charlie and Chacha are finished. Yes. <laughs> okay. But Sarah. the movie is the biggest... Um, thing right now okay and yeah we want to encourage every young person to be in a fellowship or in a community where they can be accountable Kay. yes and we call them movers movers are ordinary people who are uh, who have big dreams okay yes faith parting short and then we close concerning dating one thing is because there are many challenges in dating in marriage or they don't have to do this alone yeah? counseling is also an option mm -hmm. and you realize some of the things one of the biggest things that people fight about is uh, personality differences as it has come up. It affects our sex life. It affects uh, our social life. It affects our conflict resolution. It affects um, even how we deal with money. It, um, yes. Our money, us, exactly. Yes. So we can be here fighting about this one thing, but at the core of it is personality differences. So seek someone you can talk to, and for there are people who are very private. I don't want to talk to our friends. I don't want to talk to our parents. So counseling is an option, and I want to uh, make that open. So seek a, a counselor um, and uh, just talk about some of these things. Usually when people come and we they go through even one session, and they look at each other and they're like, is, is that what this was all about? Thank you very much, Faith. Thank you very much, the movers. Dante and Audrey, we wish you well in your new church plant. Uh, Dadas, I have learned one key ingredient of dating, or one very important thing about dating. Do not move from love kindergarten to university. Allow the process to work for you. That's the reason people date. So if you are dating, please, do not jump from dating and jump straight into marriage. Just go through the steps. Go through the process. There's a reason they are there. So have a great week, um, a loving week. Baraka.